Salad we saw this important design feature of a V-shaped hull. And again, this uh, we're used to the phrase from mainly Afghanistan and Iraq IEDs. Of course, prior to that, we just called them mines. And the idea there is that if you're the vehicle on patrol that goes over the mine, you need to vent that blast away from the vehicle. Flat bottom vehicles, they capture the blast and they can flip the vehicle over. If the vehicle's got a V-shaped hull, it can jet the blast either side of the hull and hopefully dissipate it um, and save the crew. And you can see the crew compartment on the back of the vehicle is actually fairly high off the ground. Um, the soldiers in the rear there will be facing out. They climb up the sides of the vehicle and over the top to get in it. Um, and they're facing out on patrols. The driver as well is fairly high up in his own little cab in the front. And uh, again, the whole idea of that is protection for the individuals inside if they should go over a mine. Now, the, the Buffalo, the, it's based really on the um, German Unimog lorry, the Mercedes-Benz Unimog, which means that most of the components are, are basically from the trade as well. The engine is a variant made in South Africa of the Mercedes-Benz engine, and the South Africans call it the Atlantis, and that gives the vehicle more than enough power for what it's needed for. It's four-wheel drive and um, has a good cross-country performance, because as you can see, it has, by nature of its anti-mine layout, to have a fairly high ground clearance.